Hello there. Um, this video we're going to be looking at transformation of graphs. And um, keep things simple, I mean all the things that I'm going to talk about apply to every type of graph. I'm going to look at a very straightforward graph. You'll deal a lot with it in uh, um, your A-level work. Y equals some function of x and that function of x is x squared. And the types of transformations we're looking at are as follows. We'll be looking at translations and the signature for those is that you've got a number added or subtracted and we'll be looking at stretches no I raised my voice there but and the signature for those is that you are timesing by a number or dividing by a number there is a third type uh, reflection but we can think of those as being multiplying or dividing by a negative number. Okay, let's look at uh, translations first. So how do we sketch the graph of y equals f of x plus 2? Well, we've got a number added. And we notice also that it's added outside the f of x uh, symbols. So we know that it's going to affect the graph vertically. And it's nice and straightforward. Outside the brackets, it moves the graph as it stands. So it would be two units up. Uh, had that number been not plus two, but had it been minus three, then our graph would have gone down. One, two, three units to go there. Now, What about if the number added or subtracted had been inside the bracket? So we'd have y equals f of x plus 1. Well, it's inside the bracket, so it's going to affect things horizontally. It's an add number or a subtract number. Remember, they always are shifts or translations. So I shift it. Now one would have thought it had been one unit to the right. No, not inside the bracket, it acts counterintuitively. So you shift a plus one means one to the left. So that would be our new graph. Had the number inside been f of two plus x. Now, the order doesn't matter. What an effect we've done, we've added two. So I'd have sh now shifted it instead of being one unit to the left, I'd have shifted it one, two units to the left. Had it been a minus number, so for instance, minus three, add x, or alternatively, it could be x minus three, they mean one and the same thing, then I'd have shifted it three units, one, two, three units to the left. Okay, now, what about these stretches I was talking about? Well, let's get uh, the red one. We're going to move. Right. Let's say we're asked to sketch the graph of y equals 2 f of x. Now, it's a multiplier, isn't it? Actually, I, I was, uh, I'm going to use green for any multipliers. It's outside the brackets. So, as with the uh, translations, it's going to be vertically. The action is going to be vertical. And what happens is you multiply every y coordinate by 2. So this y coordinate is 0, so it's not going to change. This y coordinate here is 1, so it's now going to be 2. This y coordinate here is 2, it's going to be uh, 4. What about on the left hand side, so we can get a quick picture of it? This y coordinate here was 1, so it's now going to be 2. And this y coordinate here was 2, so it's going to be 4. Well, oh, it's a daisy now. I'm sure you can draw a, bit, a little bit better than that, Mr. P. So that would be the effect. Notice it makes it narrower. Now, what about if the. Um, if the number had been inside the brackets? He slows down a little bit. 
So you were asked to, asked to sketch the graph of y equals f of 3x. Well, it's inside the brackets. I said it was going to be consistent with my use of colours. I failed. Let's make that green. So it's 3 times x, but inside the brackets. So it's going to be a stretch. And it's going to be a stretch, but not of times 3 horizontally. It's going to be a stretch horizontally because it's inside the brackets. Everything inside the brackets is horizontal. But the um, anything inside the brackets acts counterintuitively, so it's going to be a stretch of times one third. So I'm going to multiply each of the x coordinates by one third. So let's have a look. Um, this x coordinate here was three, so it's going to be one. This x coordinate uh, here was four, so it's going to be four thirds or one and a third. Let's look on the left. This x coordinate here was 3, so it's going to be 1. This x coordinate here was 4, so it's going to be 1 and a third. So the effect is, oh, he did it again, didn't he? What a klutz. Is to make it narrow. Actually, it should be touching the x axis. What about there being a minus sign in there? Well, I'd have multiplied each x coordinate by minus 1 third, and it would be. Each x coordinate would now be the opposite of what it was, so it would be reflected in this, the y axis. Well, I hope that helped. I mean, it's supposed to be a resume, not a complete explanation. Okay, thank you.